Hey guys and welcome back to the CTSC Perspective. As you can see, I'm on Wembley Way, just about to go into my box at Wembley Stadium to watch Chelsea versus Crystal Palace for the FA Cup semi-final. It was a big semi-final yesterday, Liverpool getting the win against Manchester City. Obviously, arguably a bigger game for me today, the London derby. Both sides on decent form. Seems to be a lot of fans here today, should be packed. Obviously, Crystal Palace with big performances recently against Arsenal. Chelsea with a big win against Real Madrid, sadly not getting through, however. Well, obviously, both sides will be roaring and ready to go, ready to beat each other in today's game. My prediction, obviously, I've got to go over Chelsea win, but hopefully working for the, hoping for the best, no matter what. Hope you guys do enjoy the video. I'm going to try and get the most footage I can today obviously as being in the box is gonna be quite difficult but yeah I can't really explain how excited I am for today and this is one of the best games I've been to in my entire life so yeah hope you guys do enjoy if you do enjoy my content please if you want my smash that like button help share the video around subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you know when the video goes live and you can join the family just hit 1150 subscribers I can't believe you're supporting the channel any questions or queries drop it down in the comment section I'll try and answer every single one of them for you and make sure you go to Candyline to get all your desired sweets and treats. Let's get into the video. Well, what can I say? What a better backdrop than this. I'm so excited. It's the bookies odds. It's this part of the video again. It's eight to 13 for a Chelsea win, five to one for the away side Crystal Palace to get the win. Obviously, I'm confident. I've put a few bets on. I've got to say, I've got to think Chelsea are going to win 3-1. You can see Kai Havertz bagging a goal here, maybe a header from a corner as well. We're bound to concede. We're not in the best form as in terms of keeping clean sheets. But yeah, not that long now for about an hour and a half till kick off. Let's get into it. It's about 20 minutes before kickoff now. The lineups are out. They are as follows. It's a pretty squad. It's a pretty strong squad from uh, Chelsea. I do apologise to Crystal Palace fans. We're absolutely really emphatic today. They're really loud. I'd say Mendy and Gantz a good choice. So we're going to say Kepa. Obviously, it's a big game. You can't be losing this after what happened in midweek. A strong defence, Tony Rudiger, obviously still trying to prove himself. He needs that contract, I don't know why he hasn't got him already. Marcus Lund's on the flanks, that's good attacking with Reese James, we needed him back. I would probably put Kante in midfield, but Jorginho and Kovacic, that's good coverage. And then the run from Timo and Kai in behind, with Mason Mount just slot on them in, that'll be really nice. Kai is in hot, hot form, obviously Timo Werner with that goal in midweek as well. Crystal Palace have a strong squad, no Conor Gallagher, good alone, that's tough. Uh, I think easy. I'm sorry if I said it wrong, it's a great player. Wilfred Zaha, he's always up for a skill. And then you've got uh, Mitchell as well. Some great players, it should be a good game. So far, Crystal Palace look like the much better fan base, I can't lie to you. They're really loud and proud. The Chelsea fans seem a bit late. And to be fair, the Crystal Palace head looks a bit more packed. But like I said, about 15 minutes we'll kick off, we'll see what happens. And I cannot wait. Come on, boys. are amazing, the players are out, the nerves are rising, come on. Shut down my children, so we're good defending. Seven minutes played, it's getting tense.
to my mates in, Mateo Kovacic is injured, Ruben Loftus cheek on. This could be a stressful evening. Big chance for both sides. It looks like Chelsea's holding the ball. Crystal Palace hitting us on the break. Half of that are in. This game could go either way. It's a hectic last two minutes. Chris Spass on the first big chance of the game. A great save from Mendy. And then Chelsea go down the other end. It's seemingly a Chelsea penalty. And it's a free kick the other way. Yellow card to Kai Havertz. The second half is just about to begin. We've got to say Crystal Palace on a much more dominant side with the biggest chances. Chelsea had to change a lot in that second half. I think the loss of Mateo Kovacic was a real thing. But hopefully the second half can really prove something different for Chelsea. Yeah. It's been another slow start to the half. Mason Mount with the first chance, slightly over. It's nice to see we're actually being attacking. We get more control of the ball. We need to see some bigger changes. Chance of the half by a mile. Corner by Crystal Palace headed down. All he had to do was tap it in. He did manage to get his foot on it. Oh, it's going to be stressful. Into the Crystal Palace, he's been all over us all game. It was a bit of bad luck, bad defending from Crystal Palace. We win the ball, all bounce across in the box. They're brilliant finish. And Ruben lost his cheek. I think it's a right third volley into the top corner. 66 minutes played. This, like I said, the magic of the FA Cup. It should be 2 1, it should realistically be 2 2. We've had two chances in this game, they've gone in. It's Jack Butland in goal. I'm sorry, I, I know he's a professional goalkeeper, but he's not as good as their number one. You can't be playing cup goal, goalkeepers in a cup semi final.
but think the Crystal Palace are the losing side right now. You can't do their support. It's one of the best in England, one of the best in Europe. You can't knock it at all. Ten minutes left, Chelsea 2 0. They seem to be cruising. Bro, Romelu, Lukaku, Ziyech, and Kante, all fresh legs. You can't see them losing it now. But I think there's one or two big chances left in for Palace because they just got the heart, they've got the backing. Chelsea fans have been quiet all day. I'm sorry, but he's finished. 100 million quid. That's got to go down to one of the worst signings in Premier League history. We've got a lot of those. Three minutes added. He done pretty well to hold up. Timo literally gave it to him. All he had to do was tap it in and he put it wide. so much watching this video it's definitely a day to remember i hope you've enjoyed my experience in the box at Wembley and i'm going to try and do many more games like this if i possibly can i don't know if i can uh, obviously we're at cardiff versus lewin tomorrow is a big weekend oh and i'm so happy if this game went differently you'd see me crying on camera but yeah sorry i'm trying to be loud thank you so much for this video if you did enjoy the video smash that like button this video deserves a like um especially if you're a crystal Palace fan or a chelsea fan um yeah, if you have any questions, okay, drop it down in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 1,150 subs. Sorry this video's a bit long. Yeah, like I said, it's a real special day for me. And uh, yeah, go to Candy Line for all your goods, treats, all your American snacks, everything that's going to be a restock soon. Yeah, the link's in the description for that. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.